Hello there, Aries. Welcome to your weekly tarot readings. So in your love relationship sector, um, what I'm feeling here with the spread is I feel like you definitely um, have somebody in mind. So even though you're single, you have somebody in mind that you want to communicate with, that you want to make an offer to, that you want to express how you feel and you want to express, you know, uh, to that person how they make you feel. And for those who are in coupled relationship as well, it, it's this is kind of like a, a reigniting of passion, um, coming together, spending a lot of time together, and uh, being able to do things with each other that are very enjoyable, that are very amorous, that are very just um, reconnecting with somebody. Um, what I have here is the Ace of Cups. And this is an outpouring of emotion and it falls right on top of you. So I feel like you are expressing either your appreciation, your love, your level of commitment, your feelings, or even confessing to somebody, telling somebody how you feel, telling somebody from you know the bottom of your heart what they mean to you. And in true Aries fashion, I feel like it happens very, very quickly. It happens very unexpectedly. And it happens in a way where it kind of caught the other person off guard. And it caught you off guard as well. So I feel like this is like um, something unexpected. And something that, you know, as soon as it leaves your lips, you're just like, oh no, how are they going to react? So I feel like, you know, it's, it's like act first reflect on it later so this is kind of like that that slip of the tongue and when i said slip of the tongue i feel like you might not verbally express it you might just for example go up to them grab them and kiss them you might just you know it's like it's very action oriented because it's an aries um you're the aries person so it could just be very um it, it's it's like catching you and the other person off guard so the person that you're dealing with here i have here the princess of swords so this is like the page of swords and this is somebody that is uh, looking at their emails looking at their text messages looking at the messengers looking at skype looking at you know whatever method of communication there is and i feel like there's somebody that is very communicative so they might have all of these um, means of communication available to them at their disposal and the way this person is i feel like their energy comes in with the nine of wands okay and the Nine of Wands is somebody that has been through their fair share of um, bad relationships, bad endings. And so I feel like, you know, there there's something here about somebody having a good sense of humor, somebody that you can joke around with, play around with. The two of you have a lot of inside jokes. So you might be texting them, you know, some funny anecdotes, some jokes on the internet, some memes, some whatever it is. And I feel like they're getting a good laugh out of it. And so you enjoy the communication with you and this person because it's very uncomplicated. And if they are an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, I feel like the communication flows very naturally between the two of you. They're not judgmental. Um, they, you know, they say whatever's on their mind. They don't care about censoring themselves. And I feel like because they're like that, you feel very carefree in their presence. And I feel like there is such a friend vibe with this person. It's almost like, you know, you guys are, um, if you're dating, you're also each other's best friend. You can share everything you can share like down to the minute boring details of your day and they can you know find a good laugh in it or they can find ways to joke around with you and make it interesting so i feel like you're dealing with somebody who might be very witty very intelligent uh very good with communication but it seems like things are more on the friend zone rather than or things have been on the friend zone mainly because I feel like this is not somebody who's looking for love. This is somebody who's just like doing their own thing, enjoying their life, having a lot of communications from people from all walks of life coming to their door. And with the Nine of Wands, I feel like many of you are stuck in this 
a state where you're where when I said state to the, the message I'm hearing is you might be in a different state there might be long distance communication as well and so that might be why things are not getting off the ground and with this nine of wands energy it's like you're juggling a lot of responsibilities you're juggling a lot of things from your own life and i also feel like the communication with this person really brings like a, a flutter to your the pit of your stomach it makes you feel good it makes you feel like you're bridging the distance and the divide and it also makes you feel like whatever you're dealing with as long as they're communicating with you they brighten up your day and so this is the week where there might be, you know, that outpouring of love and appreciation for the other person. And I'm have uh, I'm I'm seeing like things done unexpectedly. You know, you might just like grab their hand, you might just kiss them, you might just do something that might feel a little bit like sudden and impulsive and out of character. Or you might shoot them an email telling them how you feel about them. You might shoot them a message telling them that, you know, you really love them or you really want to be with them. And the way that they are handling this, I have the Magician in the Strength card. The Magician is somebody that uses magic. This is somebody that, you know, has their uh, fingers in many, many pies. So they're, they're like the jack of all trades. They're the ones that are, um, they know a lot of things about a lot of things. And I, I have a feeling the person knows that you like them and the person knows that you care about them they know how you feel about them because the the communication and honestly Aries when you like somebody it's really hard for you to contain it it's hard for you to hide it as well you want the world to know and so I feel like this person this is not news to them it's just catching you off guard mainly because of the the strength and the depth of your emotions and I feel almost like the other person is just not ready, okay? They might be, um, as well, dealing with another relationship or they might themselves be at a point in their life where they're trying to make things happen in their own lives, trying to get their career sorted out. Um, so it seems like they've got a gazillion things that are really occupying their mind and they're not really ready to express you know or reciprocate or even uh express or even respond to your messages not that they're not going to because what's coming up next here is the strength card and the strength card greatly deals with sort of like you have a bad day you shoot somebody some messages and then it just sits there and you're you, you start to worry you start to panic like Oh no, are they, um, you know, how are they viewing me? How are they feeling in, in light of these messages that I, came, I brought, um, that I sent them? Or in light of this news that I revealed to them? And I feel like they're taking care of their responsibilities first before they can come back and handle the situation. So this is a card greatly about flirtation. It's about somebody that, two people that might be very different from each other. One is a little bit, you know, more on the animalistic side. And I feel like this is more your energy where you are, when you feel something, you, you succumb to your carnal desires. And I feel like the other person wants to wait things out. So you might have somebody that you're newly dating and you're really pressing to get physical with them, for example. And they're like, no, it's not yet the time. It's not yet the time. So I feel like they're kind of pushing you away or they're saying yes, but not right now. And I feel like this is the week where it happens because the strength card, once again, it is seduction. It is about two people coming together and having great attraction for one another. But somebody um, feels like we need to be patient. We need to wait a little bit. And so there is here a major outpouring of love. But I also feel like the timing, it might be good for you timing wise, but it, they might not be ready. But either way, I feel like there's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of attraction and I feel it really coming from your end. 
where you're looking for you're looking for somebody that you know not only you're attracted to and you can get released with but you're looking for more of a soulful connection with another person and you found somebody like that coupled people um definitely a great week to spend with your loved ones with your significant other to kind of um re-inject passion into the relationship and allow it to you know just uh it's like growing without pretenses uh, a major expression of love coming in here from you to your partner and i also feel as well there's going to be some some really really good things happening even for those who are single you're going to be feeling really attracted to somebody and this person i feel like they communicate really well they're a great orator they might um have a way with words they might have speak multiple languages there's something about them that makes them very appealing like if their energy shows up as the page of swords and the magician i feel as if they um they really sweep you off your feet and you're quite impressed by this person. So, there's something here about age. So, I feel like, you know, with the strength card and the the page of swords, they might be significantly younger, you might be significantly younger than them, but I feel like biologically the two of you might have that age gap, but mentally and emotionally you don't. Mentally and emotionally you're on the same page. You're just um, different from each other. So I feel despite somebody being a lot younger, they're old and wise and they have a lot of wisdom and they can carry on a conversation. So I feel a like conversation would um, it is really good and very appealing with this person. Moving on to other areas of your life, um, I feel as if there might have been a plan, um, some type of a travel that you're planning and then it was put on the back burner and this is the week where it starts to come up again i have two travel cards the eight of wands long distance travel this is what i would call like um it could be overseas but not usually it's like continental us or taking a trip that's like you know not across the world so this is like travel making plans to see somebody, making plans to meet up, making plans to come visit or, you know, um, they come visit you. This is usually air travel, so it's a significant distance. I feel like it was put on the back burner. You were waiting for somebody to kind of make a move or to give you the green light or to tell you, you know, uh, let's, let's do it. And I feel like it was something that you were counting on for quite some time. And for whatever reason, it was stalled, okay? We do have some, um, if you're in the, um, especially around along the East Coast, we do have the, the storm. So, you know, just be careful about that. I feel like whatever was delayed, if it's um, to inclement weather, it's actually picking up again. So this is the, the week where, you know, the, the travel delays will start to clear up and things will be okay. And if you are dealing with another fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, I feel like the communication is going to start flowing and the travel is going to happen. If you're dealing with another Aquarius, um, with an Aquarius, I feel as if they're trying to make some major moves in their lives and they're saying like, let's just hold off on it a little bit. I have some other things I need to take care of, which also echoes the same energy. It's like, wait a minute, uh, I have some things I need to do. I have other things that I, I have to take care of before I can get this off the ground. So I feel like you're mustering up the courage to make things happen in your own life and you're kind of uh, waiting on them to kind of be on the same page as you. You're waiting on people to be on the same page as you. And with the star card, um, related to you know the the Queen of Wands which is what I usually think of like the mother card there might be some news some health health good news regarding health associated with your mother or some news regarding her health that she's gonna be sharing with you okay so all three of these cards echo the same theme for me and I feel like the fact that they're related it's like overcoming some trial and tribulations regarding health overcoming some diagnoses and things like that and i feel like you know if you have stole um travel plans this is the week where it starts to 
um, speed up. And I feel like if you were contemplating, for example, air travel, you might be wanting to travel by land, or you might get a lot of communication and news about somebody who's making a big, big trip by land. Okay, like a road trip or something like that, or even invitations for you to go on a road trip. Okay, so on the mundane level, I feel like it's not、uh, super. Like exciting, but with these three cards—the Death card, the Star card, and the Chariot—I feel like it's a really, really big a week overall for plans to move ahead. Whatever was stalled is moving up on ahead, and it's moving ahead in very, you know, quick, rapid succession. It's like one thing after another, and all of these are very positive cards. So I feel as if you know, for for those of you who are doing exams, for example, this is a yes card, and this is a major victory. So you know, acing an exam with flying colors. And then for others of you, I I feel greatly about overcoming some major obstacles, some major hurdles, some major trials and tribulations regarding.、Uh, Getting a proper diagnosis, or getting cured, or getting some major breakthroughs in the health department, and then on the、uh, the, the last interpretation of this, what I'm hearing overall is, you know, things moving along the way that you anticipated. So you might have, you know, snippets and, and intuition about how things are going to progress, and this is the、uh, week where everything. Moves along exactly the way that you had envisioned, so it's going to be a very smooth week. It's going to be a very major week where there are a lot of breakthroughs. But I feel like the major arcana dictates the energy, but it doesn't give me details into the little,、um, all the nuances as to what's happening. I do feel health. I do feel victory overall in the exam department for students, and I especially see. Being able, there's an element here. Being able to go home for the the holidays or things like that. Okay, so I wish you all the best. Take care of yourself, Aries, and I hope the reading is helpful for you. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.